The field has shifted away from sort of a one-size-fits-all approach for androgen deprivation to one that's really adapted towards patient's disease state. And in particular, focus on some of the recent data that's come out with the use of abiraterone and some of the newer, more potent AR targeting therapies and how they've really changed practice patterns for patients, especially with metastatic prostate cancer. Uh, and so I'll focus a little bit on those studies, how we apply them in, in practice. Um, I do talk a little bit about the uh, differences between the LHRH antagonist versus the agonist and the choice of ADT and, and what are the current data and practice patterns. And then a little bit on some of the uh, sort of emerging clinical trials looking at earlier use of even more potent therapies uh, beyond just the metastatic setting but an earlier disease setting, biochemical recurrence, uh, localized prostate cancer and, and really sort of wrap up from there.